Yo, your boy b Low do it die Forever Entertainment. You know how we do it already. Grind TV. Yiddy! Fuck with your boy Floyd. You're now watching Urban Grind TV. Let's get it. Hi, my name is Ashley Armland, and you're watching Urban Grind TV. What's going on? It's T.L. Williams, and you are now watching Urban Grind TV. This your girl, Amani K versus Spaz, so Spaz versus Amani K, and you're watching Urban Grind TV. Yeah, this is King D's when you watching Urban Grind TV. What's up? This is Chanel Chu, and you're watching Urban Grind TV. This is King of the Trap, man. King of the Kitchen Bowl. King, you watching Urban Grind TV. What's up? It's the Queen of Rhythm and Trap, Dottie Stacks, and you are now watching Urban Grind TV. Let's get it! Yo, what up, man? It's your boy Away, and you are now tuned in to Urban Grind TV, you dig? Yo, it's your boy Ayo Hit Up, Mr. All oh, Yeah, y'all already know what it is, and you watching Urban Grind TV. What's up? It's your girl Miranda Wright, and you're watching Urban Grind TV. And I gotta say, look who done came in the building. He came the right way. I need y'all to say it again. Say it again. They got your boy DJ Mill ticket in the building. What up, though? Yeah, Mill ticket. What's been going on with you? First of all, your name is ringing, man. We got. I, I'm loving it behind it. What's going on? It work. It gotta ring. Yeah. So for those that don't know exactly what you do and what you bring to the industry. Put it out. I DJ and I produce. You know, I then produce for a lot of your favorite rappers. Anybody with a name, you know, they call me your baby mama's favorite DJ, you feel me? All that, you know, I be out here doing my thing, making hot records. You making baby daddy's mad? I mean, I can't help it, man. Okay, so you say you DJ and you also produce records. What did you start with first? I started DJing though, cause my best friend, um, uh, Blake that passed, he used to DJ. And that was in 2008. And then I picked it up from there. Started doing the mixtapes in 2014. Started going on tour with rappers. And I've been all around the world and made a few hits. And that's a lot more to come. Real quick, at what age did you start DJing? Man. Uh, it was 2008. <laughs> How old he was at that moment, <laughs> right? But I have to ask this just question. This is for all DJs. 24. Okay. Do you DJ for yourself or do you DJ for the party? I do it for the people. But that's why I'm the people's choice. There's a lot of DJs that DJ for themselves. You know, you know like, you, you got to be the, uh, to the jazz though to your advisor. Now let's talk about your production work. First off, name some of the people that you have worked with or produced records with. Well, starting though with my city, like anybody that got a name from uh, from, uh, from Lil Dirt, G Herbo, FBG Duck, Edel Team Six Hundred, Katie Evans, Nia K, Lil Mouse, Maddie Baby, um, Mikey Dollars. On. It goes on. You say you travel across the world, right? And, and work with artists. Three world tours with you heard about. Yeah. And what's some of the people that you actually linked with or got some type of work done with, with traveling? Man, Coyle LaRae, she from the East Coast. Uh, she was a uh, Trippy Red's little girlfriend. She uh, she also a uh, Benzino daughter. Uh, um, her, uh, some guys from Florida. 
Um, and I got some stuff in the works with NBA Youngboy too. And um, and I'm working with uh, with Young Scooter with Casino. A lot of people in the industry. That's what's up. Now, as far as let me just ask a personal question as far as with your production with working with artists across the city well, should I say the nation, across the US versus the Chicago artists, is there a difference? I'm glad to you take it. I'm a, I'm all the way one hundred. I love give it to me, Ralph. Nah, I mean the people the people, I mean they man, they be how they gonna be, like you got your finesses, you got some people that like to do the business right, and you got some people that's trying to learn the business as they go. What it be the actual sound that you go for when you're doing your production? Like, how do you get in your mood? It ain't no particular sound. I just create and how I'm feeling at the moment. I go off the that. When you're creating this music, do you sometimes like, okay, man, I can hear Herbo on this. Do you do it like that or? I do that at the end, like, cause when I create, like, I don't try to box myself in no, I want kind of sound. Like, I don't want to be known as a drill or trap uh, producer. Name one person, industry wise, that you would love to work with. The Weekend, Andre. Yeah. What's some names? Yeah, uh, uh, and that's only cause I feel like everybody else, you know, what I'm saying that's in the works. Like, they in arms, reach if I can reach them, I can touch them. What's one thing that you would say to the up and coming artists or producers just to help just get on your level? Because I'm gonna say you definitely making a name out here, you doing your thing. So what would you say to them? Stay consistent, stay busy, and cause you never know who's watching. Just when you think you're not doing something uh, like uh, that you ain't doing enough, and somebody watching like, man, uh, they be doing their thing. And where would they find some of the music that you produce? Where can we go find it? Everywhere. YouTube, iTunes, My Mixtape, Spotify, Tidal, Spin Real, Audio Mac, that feel, SoundCloud. Did I just type in DJ Milk? Yeah, or you can Google me. Okay. <laughs> okay, well, let the people know where to follow you at. You can follow me on, D I mean, Instagram, DJ Mill Ticket, not M E A L M I L. Cause a lot of people they get the meal and meal mixed up, but it's M I L T. Oh man, I'm on. I think he's forgetting his name, y'all. DJ Meal Ticket. DJ M I L T I C K T seven seven three at gmail dot com. DJ Meal Ticket on Facebook, on Snapchat. DJ Meal Ticket seventy thirty seven on Twitter. So all you artists that want to level up the right way, make sure y'all follow him. Make sure y'all get in tune with him. You up and come in producers, make sure y'all follow him, study him. And there you have it. Girl Miranda Wright, DJ Mill Ticket, and we out. What it do, what it does. It's your boy DJ Mill Ticket, and you now watch Urban Grind TV. Mexican restaurant and pizzeria, home of our famous handmade tortillas. Using the right amount of dough, we make you our famous tacos of asada, al pastor, and many more. Here we make you feel right at home. Also here at Aranda's Mexican restaurant, we offer you freshly made pizza with all of your favorite toppings, including sausage pepperoni and veggies for all of our veggie lovers. Wow, this looks delicious. Here at Andas Mexican Restaurant and Pizzeria, we can also host and cater your next party and event. 
Venga y compruébalo usted mismo en la 6706 oeste de la calle Belmont. Llámenos al 773-481-9050 y búsquenos en las redes sociales. Visítenos en randamexicanfood.com What if your girlfriend died while cheating on you? Found out this week my girlfriend was cheating on me with my best friend. Mm -hmm. Both of them died in a car accident while she was going down on him. How do you think I'm feeling? Shitty. And you get stuck with our kids. Are you putting me on punishment, man, or crazy why I got kid a whole family, man? If mommy comes back as a zombie, do you think she'd be a flesh-eating zombie or the ones that only eat your brain? Why would a perfectly good Caucasian like yourself want to raise two African-American kids. Go out into the world, enjoy life, enjoy white privilege. They don't have any immediate family, so pretty much all they got. With help from your foster brother, what could possibly go wrong? I'm here to make sure my baby brother be the best stepdad that he can be. And I said clap. Oh, oh. Stepdads. Domino, mother. I'm gonna get some tea, you want tea? Everybody get some pee. You in the mix with P1. Yeah. 2L. Yeah. Still left lane living. Urban Grind TV. 20 seasons, 10 years. <laughs> yup. On Urban Grind Radio. Yup, yup, yup. Right back on the grind, folks. Yeah. Just hit 11, so you knowin' what it's time for. We help polish up your diamonds so it shine more. Not for nothing, sorta of kinda stunning. Now we out in London. We the streets, run with locals, all up and comers. Say they grindin' like we grindin', tell them show the numbers. Wanna chill amongst the stars, watch and see who comin'. Smoky Studios say you gotta, gotta show us something. 20 seasons, still counting, gotta keep them pumping. Dedicated, hottest topics, bro, you have to stop it. Been a platform for artists trying to touch the sky. Send your videos and get exposed through the viewers' eyes. Cable on, channel flicking through the 25. 4, 3, 2, 1, then we going live. Urban grind, your commitment and dedication. This a thank you from all the artists, we appreciate it. Urban grind radio, your boy P1, here we go. Urban Grind Radio. Urban Grind TV. Urban Grind TV. Who else? Who else? Who else? Who else? Who else? All right, so we back. We back. We back. Um, Urban Grind Radio Award winning. Urban Grind TV, part of the network, and you know, that's what we do. And I'm back, it's your boy P1. I'm still, you know what I'm saying? Like, it still feel new. Like, I'm still excited. I, so I see, because you, 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 you hear how I'm looking at you. hear how I'm looking at you. I hear how you looking yeah. at me. I do, <laughs> I do hear how you looking at me. I, I, welcome I, back. Yes, welcome back. Um, so, I want you to introduce our next guest, because like brother she was like like she made sure she was like no don't make we reschedule it like because we had you know a couple weeks of things going on and whatnot and we wanted to make sure we got you on the show and she was a big fan and an advocate and we like yeah let's do it let's do it so i'm excited like i'm so excited to finally have you here because you know what the process been like so i i let you know so you know what? Like, you see how they do that? Uh, they right. just That's set that up. Happened, right? That's what happened. <laughs> they they set that up and put the light right on me. But you know, but, but, but I had no I day. had <laughs> <laughs> three days left. Right. <laughs> Don't be late. Right. So petty right now. You got the address? <laughs> You need the GPS coordinates. Yep. I did. Yep. Yep. <laughs> you know where to park. Right. She's like, go through the gate. I'm like, hey. <laughs> right. What That's gate you talking about? This but, but, say, what, beware what, of the dog. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I can't even say. But, but, hey, anyway, we're going to do this the right way. And, and let's welcome KC, the bodyguard. Thank you. Thank yeah. you. Man, no, let me tell you why I. The reason why I was. um. I say very strong on 
as far as bringing him in the building because I pay attention to everybody's grind, whether if you are artist, um, a brand ambassador, clothing brand, whatever it is that you do. And to me, grind means everything. And this young man has been grinding in his field. He is somebody that's important that a lot of people don't even understand. And again, the importance of the job, just like the DJs. I'm the person that like to be pay attention to the ones that's in the back that many is not paying attention to, but they are the reason why the front is where they are. So, Casey, the bodyguard. Why bodyguard? Uh, I just feel like this is what God called me to do, yeah. is to be a protector. So, you know, uh, I do everybody. Every life matters. You don't necessarily have to be, you know, a celebrity. Okay. Well, let's speak on that because I, I know that you have the bodyguard work with celebrities, also um, local clients. Now, is there like a difference as far as the protection wise? Is that a main thing? Or is it, do you bring the same thing no matter what it is when you come to work? I mean, every client, same flight. Mm -hmm. You know, with my female clients, it's more, a little bit more overprotective. Okay, and okay, I understand. I, I guess I understand that. Right. You know, um, okay. Now, when you're dealing with the celebrities um, versus the local, the local, um, I'm not going to say artists because you deal with politicians, you deal with actors, act actress. You know, what is the differences that you receive from the people, the clients itself, like? Um. Talk about like different industries. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For example, like the celebrities, do they act a little bit different versus the non-celebrities? Do the politicians act a little bit different versus the? I mean, it's really based on how you treat them. Mm -hmm. You know, so it's like with me, you know, I never been starstruck. Okay. So you know, I, I treat them like regular people that they are. Right. You know, I really don't call you know them celebrities. You know, public figures. Anybody can be a public figure, you know, and I think just to give that title of a celebrity, it's like, you know, I don't understand that part. You know, a lot of people look at me like that, but, you know, you catch me at, you know, the local bar, sports bar, karaoke bar, mm -hmm. and when they see me, they be like, what you doing here? Yeah. You know, so, I mean, just don't matter, you know, what comes your way never change. So what, like, how does that work? Like, what's the most common place that you went with one of your public figure clients? Like, do they go to, like, common places, or is it, is it always usually? I actually asked Miranda if I could bring one of my clients. A oh, wow. surprise client. Yeah. So she's like, no, nah, no, nah, it's about you, and, you know, I appreciate that. Okay. Yeah. So, you know. Cause I ain't never really been the type to talk. Usually I'm like more. I can tell back. you're shy. Right. I wouldn't say shy. <laughs> <laughs> you know. When you big, you ain't gotta say that. Cause he's, right. he's, he's so, so soft spoken. It's like okay. Yeah. Right. So. Okay. But then he walk in like the demeanor, like yeah. But then when he's soft, he like yeah. Okay. <laughs> But no, that's <laughs> that's what that's they what's up. They say silent but deadly. <laughs> right. So you can't talk a lot, right? <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Because I want to, I want to speak on. I want to speak on Chicago in per se. Because first off, how long have you been doing um, body garment? Uh, twelve years now. Twelve years. Yeah. Okay. Do you have any favorite sh um, Chicago clients that you have worked with? Yeah, I mean, uh, you want me name? Name them. Throw it out there. I, 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 I like to get name based. I like uh, all that. Throw it out there. It's a couple of them. Uh, four. Um, King Louis, Dreezy, Betty Gang Twins, uh, QSA Records, you know, these are all Chicago people. Uh, Fail Davis, Slick, uh, who else? Are you, okay, I, 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 now, come on now, name all these nah. people your favorite, or you just name I mean, everybody. I'm just saying that, you know. Right. No, see, <laughs> see, see, I do it, it's like, you know, with my clients, you know, I build more of a, it's like a family foundation That's versus, like, business. Yeah. You know, I mean, 
I can look at you as like, okay, you just a regular client. Right. And then I look at her, this family. Right. It's gonna be two different sizes. What makes the Is difference? Is it two different prices? Do I get a discount for just being regular? <laughs> <laughs> oh, they get the family discount. So it's gonna cost family. me more and I get different service. Well no, it depends on you. I mean okay, like I did that. You know, I could be relaxed with the clients and this client could be like the butthole. Right. So guess what's gonna happen? You know what I'm saying? So So you do different prices with different people? Well I didn't yeah. say price. Oh. Well, yeah. Because yeah. each client budget is different. Yeah. What is one of the most outrageous stories or incidents that you have been through doing your bodyguard work? Like like something that's just crazy off the wall. Chicago or It don't Nashville. matter. The craziest thing <laughs> that stuck to you. The craziest thing, like wow, did this really just happen? Um I ain't gonna say no names, but uh, we was in uh, St. Louis, and something went down, and you know the clients that uh, I was protecting locked the tour bus on me. And it, was, it was about like 15, you know, guys come up the street, so I get on that tour bus. By any means necessary, but you know, it's, I just know if, if that door didn't open, I know what's gonna happen. And that's something that you gotta be willing to accept. St. Louis is one of them kind of cities, man. We get a bad rap on St. Louis. Yeah, it, I mean, it's pretty it's wild. Like see, that. with these clients, if you don't do your research, you gotta know what they you about. With. Yeah. Because it's like, you know, a lot of female clients got baby daddy drama, and, you know, so you know what you're dealing with, but it's mostly like male clients. So how much of your job would you say is mental versus physical? Mm. Like in this field? Cause uh, you know, we, I mean, from I mean, the outside looking in, if I see a bodyguard, I'm thinking like, man, this one out pushing people around. But now nah, you talk about it, it, do research on your clients. Yeah. The, you know what I'm saying? I mean, like, you definitely gotta be on alert physically, mentally, emotionally, and spiritually. Mm. Because, you know, with me, I'm a little bit more deeper into it. Okay. You know, it don't matter how much money you're paying me or how big of a celebrity you is. If your spirit is kind of unbalanced, it makes it difficult for me to even trust you. Mm. Okay. So how does that work? It like maybe you protecting a client that doesn't match that. Like, like do you see that and be like, oh, I just working to get through the day or is it like more so like like I'm gonna pray for you brother <laughs> like you know what I'm saying I mean usually with me any client that I come across you know I, I try to tap into that religion side of it okay. you know because you know I like to pray you know what I'm saying before stage off the stage oh, you know okay. every all around the board yeah. you know prayer helps yeah. you know so it's just you know, it's just, like I said, it's just about building a relationship with your clients. I got the out before we even get up out of here, because I, I have to ask this. This bodyguard work that you do. So will you put yourself in danger before your client? Really? Let's be 100. Like, would you take that bullet? Would you take that fall? Would you take that for your client? Honestly. Honestly. Yeah. Oh, okay. That's part of the job. Ooh. You know what I'm saying? But to me, I don't look at it as... But they a better not lock job. you out that tour bus. Like, right. I don't look at it as like an earthly job. Okay. I, I look oh, at wow. it as like this is what God called me to do. So God not going to allow certain things to happen. Mm. Because my whole thing is like anybody can form a weapon, but God is not going to let that prosper. Oh, okay. Deep. So, okay. you know. Okay. I, I just, I got to ask this one question. It's just like, okay, you talked about it, like some of your clients. How many clients, like, in some of the clients you named, I've seen them without other protection, let's say, right. per se. So, how much of it is a look? Like, how much of it is count? Like perception. Versus, yeah, versus, like, you know, how much of your job do you know? I, I'm, just, I'm just here to, you know, right. f- for this person's look to be enhanced versus I'm here to... Um, um, is it a lot of capping with the... Sometimes it is. Sometimes. Oh, I love the one. Sometimes it is. Is that right? But, you know, I mean. I say you just roll with it. It's a check. Check is a check. You know what I'm saying? So, I mean, 
Uh, he won hundred. I, I, I got to give it to him. Right, I, I got to give dog. it to him. They paying for him. It, it, hey, it, if y'all see <laughs> KC with me, I'm capping. I swear. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just tell you that now. But, right. but, but you better not run up on me or try me. Though. Right. Still go get out. So. <laughs> That's what's up. So if anybody wants your services, it's basically for anybody. You, you don't have offline hands. You like anybody that want to pay for services. Where? How can they book you? I mean, either you can call me, 773-983-2808, or you can hit me up on every site. When I say every site, from Google, Internet Explorer, to LinkedIn, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. Hey, Just type in KC Bodyguard, you'll see my logo. You know, the five point star, KC in the middle, then you know you're at the right place. Okay. All right. There, so. there it is, man. So, uh, while KC out here keeping the people safe, man, make sure y'all get in tune with them. What's going on? It's your boy, KC Bodyguard. You are listening to Urban Grand Radio. Samantha Moon, wake up now on all social media platforms. And don't forget, check out my website at samanthamoonmusic.com. Man, man. Uh, I'm 
Young Marv, BFL shit. I'm so Chicago. East side crazy. I'm so Chicago, hold on, let me paint the picture. Let's take it back to Jordan Robin and Scotty Pippen. Crucial conflict, do a die, kills a twister. Kanye, bump J, hold on, somebody missing. Common sense, shit, yeah, that's what these niggas missing. Y'all be loving drill music, do you actually really listen? Rest in peace, that nigga pack. I don't think they got his vision. The nigga actually had beef with whoever he was dissing. First off, we don't disrespect the dead, boy, they shouldn't even be mentioned. Why the fuck you bragging about it if you ain't the one that did it? When Bump was calling niggas out, in the 30s was being mentioned. You could pull up over East and he was really out here with it. Yeah, the shit niggas was spending, they was really out here living. Nowadays, they just do it for an image. You wouldn't be screaming, fuck the other side if you really knew your history. For they was the other side, all them niggas used to kick it. You should probably mind your business. You don't even know how it started, but you gon' help them niggas finish. You don't even know who you dissing. And let's not forget the word op is really short for opposition. Definition, rival, competitor. But how the fuck is niggas competition if y'all not in competition? Y'all ain't beefing about no money out here trying to get richer. You just want to kill a nigga just so you can say you did it. Let's take it back to them days. You couldn't even cock and fit it or go to certain neighborhoods. Don't see that bitch. He pulled up with last night, fuck. <laughs> This was thick as hell, though. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie to you. That bitch walked past me, G. That bitch smell like a bad Ninja Turtle, G. <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. What you is? Well, what? For what you is, G? Nothing. <laughs> Alright. Unless like you was one of them niggas. Take it back to them days. Rappers couldn't pay a visit. They had to actually pay the visit. <laughs> But I'm from Chicago, born and raised. This is where I lost my mama. I've been mad at my city ever since they killed Charlie. But my city ain't all bad. We gave y'all Obama. Yeah, we want all that credit for the first nigga in office. And let's get this clear. This is not shy wreck. Y'all should get smacked for saying stupid shit like that. This Chicago, this Some call it the Windy City. This is a beautiful place. Don't be scared to come and visit. Urban Grind TV, 20 seasons, 10 years, <laughs> yep, on oh, Urban Grind Radio. Urban Grind Radio, we back, you hear Alex just laughing. I just, before, yeah, I just wanted to go, Nacimiento, damelo. It's time. Ese hit. tequila blanco que me gusta tanto. I don't know, it just, it just wanted to do it. <laughs> boy, boy. There it is. <laughs> boy, the boy. Well, I'm yeah. in America. In, in the studio. All right, so everybody's just going to jump over the intro. Cool. Yeah, well, no, go ahead. Do the yeah, intro. No, nah, we good. No, we I'm, back. I'm we good. all the way back. So we <laughs> all my life, I had an urban boom. grind. My homies told me I'm a living cheat code. Boom, 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 boom. Let's go. Right, okay. Boy, boy. Well, there it is. <laughs> Welcome back to Urban Grind Radio. I just got to turn my hand <laughs> just a little bit. Just a touch. It's, it's too back. very loud. Because so, you got this nice swap thing on. I'm loud. And he just oh, came sorry. in here. Yeah, it's over now. You're, yeah. Your eardrums are done. Done. <laughs> Fried. Done, son. <laughs> Fried. <laughs> Blow, 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 boom. <laughs> <laughs> out of there. Right. But no, nah, man. So, so, uh, <laughs> welcome back. I feel like we, yeah, we, we yeah. had some conversations recently, man. So you must be busy. You must be be busy grinding, huh? Yeah, I'm out here. I'm, I'm, I'm going. Um, by the time the airing of this show, um, what's going? If it's not live, you feel me? I got shows on um, coming up this weekend. Following through, so if you um, want to check up with me, just follow me, boy, boy, the boy, B U L L D A B O I. Uh, talk to us about this book, man. I didn't know nothing about the book. I don't think we talked about the book the last time. So tell we me do, we um, do it all here. We, we, oh, did no. we talk about? Yeah. Oh no, yeah. we're not going to talk about it. We talk no. about the music. Okay. We can't talk about why we yeah. can't talk about the book because the book. Oh, we here for the music, music bro. Yeah. Wapakin American. Wapakin. Wapakin American. <laughs> so you like you know Wap- who it is? Boy, right, boy. What that mean? What is? <laughs> Uh, anybody got a red towel like a like wave at this bull? <laughs> Stay in the conversation <laughs> to win. Yeah, no. yeah, well, right, yeah, right. <laughs> this is gonna be fun. Sorry, bro. Sorry. 
Uh, Guapican American. What's, Guapican. What's, what's, it's Guapo because it's you good looking American. Guapican because Guapo means good looking in Spanish. Guapo. Oh, also, also, I didn't know I'm that just saying, also. you you didn't know that. You just said you hey. was a Guapo American. Guapo American. So yes. that means you're a good looking American. Is that what it means? Hey. Yes. If it, wait, if it fits. If it fits. I mean, because Puerto like Rican, you say, I'm like, I'm like whopping America. If you like the feeling of it, then it's happy. I'm American. not trying to feel it. Oh, I'm just saying, day. that's what you said. Whopping <laughs> America. This is well, not, like this not like that kind of show. Now I just learned. <laughs> somebody who ought to feel it. <laughs> I believe I'm handsome. I believe it. Well, it, then, you, then it's good. What's you supposed to believe you're handsome. What's All right. You post, you ain't supposed to look in the mirror and go, who is that ugly dude? That would be bad. I've yeah. done that. I mean, yeah. I've, I've, I've done it. Like, you like have to that. deal with the ugly Aye. parts of yourself. Aye. I've seen women at the beach that should not be wearing stuff there. And, you know, I know they got a mirror at home, but I think they got the one at the, the front house mirror because it just look good on me. No, it don't. If you, you, if you, you shouldn't be wearing a leopard print if you're bigger than a leopard. It's just not right. <laughs> you should, there should no be no elephant sized leopards walking around Chicago. <laughs> this is probably true. It's <laughs> just that's, wrong. That's, 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 that's true. That's <laughs> That's but fat. you, you With know, the right lens. They look like giraffes. Dick. Okay. Those, I don't want mm. those lenses. <laughs> I love some Africa. That's, that's <laughs> the. <laughs> oh, I go safari, honey. But anyway, yeah. let's talk about this music. Walk yeah. America. Tell us about it, man. What's so, what's the single? So the single is "Search for Greatness." Okay. Yeah. And um, what is that about? What does that mean to you? This one right here is um a personal song. That's a direct message that when it comes down to it, you do you. You feel me? Okay. Yeah. So what what would make you feel like you have achieved greatness? What would be the thing that made you think that mm. you would have achieved greatness? That's hard. That's heavy. That my children are taken care of. Man. Wow. Right, right there, Papa. Absolutely. Yeah, boom. That's what absolutely. you do. No, absolutely. You get that, you go. Yeah. You go. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Because there's, there's like moments like, you know, the there's, I'm thinking that like one day you'd like to be like when uh, you see uh, Eddie Murphy or uh, like even now. Um, Chris Tucker or something they open up a club and it just sells styles out because of their name right. that's to me when I could walk into a club and be like yeah I want 34,000 this weekend because you know you're going to sell it out and, you went, and then and they go okay <laughs> so, that's I mean, what I want. I want I want to have a statue like that right right you feel me? All right, like hey look come here come here come here you want me people, to do what 37,000 yeah. right now yeah. I can do it see yeah, thirty-seven thousand. Oh, I'll oh, yeah. so you undercutting. Uh, but I'm, just, I'm, I'm, undercutting I'm not. I'm not. A, I'm not. Yeah. See, here's what's going on with my music, and here's something that I learned. Yeah. And this is where I was messing up. I've been doing it alone, and where I'm at to be Guapican American, boy to boy, from me and my team that I had is that I never had a proper management. I never. I never had a proper back team. I never saw what that was until I came across it. So. When it comes to it, you gotta have faith in it. You have to make sure that you believe in yourself and you have to understand that you have a craft and you have a craft, you can share that to the world. To share it to the world, get paid for it. Let's right. do it. We're American, Guapican American. Boo. Boo. That's it. Like, boo, 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 boo. Yeah. Cause you gotta feel it, say it with your chest. The energy. I'm, yeah. I'm, energy, I'm good. I'm good with just See, boo. You so <laughs> Even when, you, just, even when you a, say it like that, you, a, you, got, a, but you got a ooh, ooh. Hey, she'll love you forever. <laughs> I, what if I don't want her forever? I'm let her go. Know. Hey, let her go. So do you have songs for the ladies on, yeah. on Quapican America? <laughs> do you have songs for the ladies on Quapican America? <laughs> Is, uh, did we miss Do medication? I have songs today? for the ladies on Guapican American. Yeah. All right, Guapican American is the label. That's um the brand. Oh, that's I not have, the album. No, that's not oh, the album. That's the brand. Oh my fault. My so fault. it's Guapican American. Okay. What's the album? So the brand is the bo 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 bo. Boo! I'm the brand. That's him. That's I'm okay. the product. So, yeah. Right. I'm the product. Okay. Okay. Gu Guapo bulls. Good the bubbles, but no, 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 the guapo, the guapo, American, guapo, American, American, the guapo in America, guapo in America. She says, "Papi, just like that, guapo in America." When I walk in, she be like, "Say hey, make that rice and beans for my Papi, mira amor, no, true, yes, he was. We 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 do it all here, bilingual, everything. Right, yeah, right. If somebody gonna be listening, like, what am I listening? So what was what was the first time? What was the first song you ever wrote about? What was it about? The first thing you ever put down? First song I ever wrote about? Yeah. As in, first very first song you ever put down the words. What was it about? Like what was the first thing that inspired you to put it down on words? 
the first thing that I ever wrote down was a song over Nas Big Girl beat. You're a big girl now. You're a big girl now. And then you made you put the words to it. I almost went until you until you did that. I, I got right in the mall. I was about to do that whole like, and that was it, really. Okay. That's where it started. Yeah, right there. So Nas. Nice. That's one. I mean, he cold. Yeah. Still to this day. To this day, bro. Cold. To this day. So like on the, with the new music, do you still speak to? Was that a song to the ladies? Like that particular song? Yeah, for real. Okay. Because. I grew up in a household where my mother was the person that we looked up to, you feel? Okay. So, um, don't get it twisted or anything. I'm, I do, I'm real, but I have sisters, you know? So, right. you know, I have a different look at women than, okay. other, than a lot of other guys, you feel? So, so let me ask you this, like, in terms of your music, like, so would you see yourself collaborating, like, having that respect and coming from that angle? Do you see yourself doing songs with like, say a Nicki Minaj or a Cardi B that may flaunt their sexuality on a song? Or do you feel like that's, you know, just what they do? Okay. <laughs> okay. Don't touch your shit, wanna be touched. Other than that, I don't care what the hell she do. But, like but you can pretty much work with everybody. <laughs> no, but to be honest with you, um, I'll, I'll give them a standard to it. Like, man, you gotta leave something to the mystery. After after the mystery over, it's, it's done. Nobody wanna watch Scooby Doo and they already know who did it. <laughs> That's a good point. <laughs> that dude defeated the, the point. Yeah. The rest of the album. So. Right. That's it's like going with one game of thrones too so so what is, yeah so what are you so how would you for people that's not familiar with the board like in terms of uh the who bull the boy bull the boy yes bull the boy but for people that's not familiar with bull, 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 bull you know what i'm saying like guapa kid america <laughs> yes you gotta add that you gotta say that part with it yes put it all together bull the boy guapa kid america all right i got you so for people that's not familiar with Boo the boy, Guapican American. What's your stage show like? What can I expect? You said you got two shows this week. What can I expect to see on the stage? Uh, uh, um, you're gonna see energy. You're gonna um, definitely be entertained, and um, you're gonna enjoy yourself. You're gonna be like, oh wow. Hey, where can I find you at? Well, that's the next question. Then, where can I find you at? Oh, you can find me anywhere. You can um, find me on at borderboy.com. You can go to Great Dishes Shoes for my shoes, for my shoes that I have. Um, the Guapican American shoes? I have guapicanamerican.com. Okay. You can um, Google me. I'm not hiding. Um, you can YouTube me at Guapican American. Right. You can YouTube me at Board the Boy. Do you follow people back? Yeah, okay. I'm 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 in tune with it for real. Uh, no, I'm just making sure I don't want to follow you and be like, that. Uh, and I hurt my feelings, man, because we interviewed twice. So. <laughs> I'm just saying, I'm just being honest. Okay, you follow me? I I think so. So I gotta double check. All right. All right. Guapican America. Guapican America. America. That's what it is. So no, boy to boy. <laughs> I see, see, I see. Guapican I'm just making sure I put boy to boy, <laughs> Guapican America, <laughs> Urban Grind Radio. Y'all know yeah. what it is. Boo 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 boo. Boy to boy. You're listening to Urban Grind Radio. Hi, welcome to Aranda's Mexican Restaurant and Pizzeria, home of our famous handmade tortillas. Using the right amount of dough, we make you our famous tacos of asada, al pastor, and many more. Here, we make you feel right at home. Also here at Aranda's Mexican Restaurant, we offer you freshly made pizza with all of your favorite toppings, including sausage pepperoni and veggies for all of our veggie lovers. Wow, this looks delicious. Here at Andas Mexican Restaurant and Pizzeria, we can also host and cater your next party and event. Venga y compruébalo usted mismo en la 6706 oeste de la calle Belmont. Llámenos al 773-481-9050 y búsquenos en las redes sociales. Visítenos en arrandamexicanfood.com.
What if your girlfriend died while cheating on you? Found out this week my girlfriend was cheating on me with my best friend. Mm -hmm. Both of them died in a car accident while she was going down on him. How do you think I'm feeling? Shitty. And you get stuck with our kids. Are you putting me on punishment, man, or crazy why I got to get a whole family man? If mommy comes back as a zombie, do you think she'd be a flesh-eating zombie or the ones that only eat your brain? Why would a perfectly good Caucasian like yourself want to raise two African-American kids? Go out into the world, enjoy life, enjoy white privilege. They don't have any immediate family, so pretty much all they got. With help from your foster brother, what could possibly go wrong? I'm here to make sure my baby brother be the best stepdad that he can be. I mean, I said clap. Stepdads. Domino, mother. I'm gonna get some tea. You want tea? Everybody get some tea. Going down so deeply. A voice said to me, Don't lose your face so quickly. Hey, this is your girl Samantha Moon, and I would like you to go check out my new EP called Samantha Moon Wake Up Now on all social media platforms. And don't forget, check out my website at samanthamoonmusic.com. TV. 20 seasons, 10 years. <laughs> yep. On Urban Grind Radio. Urban Grind TV. 20 seasons, 10 years. <laughs> yep. Urban Grind Radio. Urban Grind Radio, we back, man. It's your boy P1, and I got co hosted here. I got Rusty Blade in the building. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So, um, man, Rusty, like, it's a lot of events going on out here. It's a lot of, you know, promoters, a lot of things going on. But, you know what? I, I, I maybe you see it a little bit more around this time of year, but it's not a lot of people that always get the chance to give back. Right. What do right. you think about that? Like, why? I mean, you know, people as a whole, man, you have to overcome being selfish. You know what I'm saying? Because a lot of people are just selfish by nature. So when you come across a group of people or an, an, an individual that's willing to give back, man, you gotta help support their cause because it'll help you to give back. You feel a lot better instead of always taking, taking, taking. You know what I'm saying? Dig that. So speaking of giving back, man, we got some dope guests here with us. Yup, yup. Uh, I got the, got a chance to talk to on TV side of things, but uh, now we on the radio side of things. Yeah. So one more time, introduce yourself. I'm Jake from the Midnight Sooners Band. All right. Hey, and I'm Kevin. How you doing? Yeah, what's going on, Kevin? So y'all, uh, y'all giving back here very soon. Like y'all, y'all gonna do something to, to to give back to the kids here very soon. Tell us a little bit about what you got going on. Well, what we got going on here is on November 30th, we're throwing a show to raise money for kids with disabilities. Okay. It's gonna be a good time out there. Meet Gino from the Mobbed Up Records. Shout out to Gino. Yeah, shout out to Gino. He's a good guy, man. Mobbed Up Records. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> That's for sure. We're putting, there's gonna be five bands playing, man. It's gonna be a, it's gonna be a really good time. It's gonna be a really, really good time. Okay, all right. And are you, are you part of Mobbed Up Records? Soon to be part of Mobbed Up Records. Oh, okay. oh breaking news! Uh, right, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you you heard it first. You heard yeah, it that's first. Right. Absolutely. They make it. I'm sorry. We making you work hard here with the yeah, mic. That's with the all mic, right. With the I, microphone. I'm always got man. a microphone. Right. You did, so what I do. You <laughs> <laughs> so tell me a little bit about your music. You know, we're like a, we're like a, just a good old fashioned power trio right out of Chicago, man. We just bring it hard. 
pedal to the wood and let it roll, man. Bluesy, rock and rolly, dirty. It's got a good edge. It's good, good dancing music. It's good beer drinking music. Bring your shoes. It's ah, good I dancing was, music. I knew it. That's mm -hmm. the best kind of music. <laughs> right. <laughs> when you drink liquor to it. <laughs> <laughs> you know. What's your favorite kind of beer? What you What's your favorite beer? beer? Oh, I'm, I just do Bud Light. I'm okay. a cheap guy, but, man. Hey, man. Give me a PBR. The cheaper, the better, really. That's <laughs> 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 it. Quick. <laughs> Quick as I cheap. can get for the, <laughs> right, for, the, for the amount of money I got in my pocket. I oh, need as much as I can get. Give me that quick nickel. <laughs> I got a question. I'm always curious about how bands come up with their name. Like Midnight Sunners, that's a dope name because everybody know that's the best time to sing at midnight. Right. So <laughs> that's how right. did y'all come up so, with that name? You go to church at noon and you go sinning at midnight. Right. You know what I mean? <laughs> that's, what, that's what it's all about. You take a little, give a little, man. With the name with the Midnight Sinners, man, it was like most of my songs are about demons, like living with demons. I grew up a little rough okay. in the city of Chicago, so it's like I lived with a lot of demons. So that Midnight Sinning is something that we used to say a lot of times back in the day. So here I am growing up now with the Midnight Sinners band. We're bringing it, you know? That's dope. That's dope. Yeah, it's fun, man. It's cool. I dig that. And then, like, the song, so we heard one of your songs here. We played one of your songs, the uh, High, I think. Yeah, High. it's a song called High. Yeah, yeah. So what's, <laughs> that song's all about, about you know, <laughs> it's about breaking through the darkness. And once you break through the darkness, you actually feel high. You know what I mean? There you it, go. I'm, yeah, you know what I, you know so where it's coming double from. Double meaning is that. Double meaning, it's right. You, it, it, you just feel lifted man you know, <laughs> just just like any other high yes sir uh, yes, yes sir. sir and so you said the band like in this current iteration has been around for about a year or so so how did like like when you have band breakups i see that kills a lot of bands but yeah you sure going, like what was the secret sauce to keep it all together keep it moving? well you know the thing was is i always wrote all the songs myself okay so uh, it was easy to bring it on to other people you know what i mean gotcha. and my other guys they, they had some issues. One had PTSD bad, okay. and he had to go, and okay. just some terrible stuff. It wasn't like a bad breakup type of thing. Right, it was right. like, they just had some problems, had to go. But my new guys in my band that I got now, glad I found them because they're actually a little better than the old guys. Okay. <laughs> so, they're bringing it a little harder, you know? So how does that feel to be in the band with the, with this guy? What would you say from learning learning the songs? How's that experience? Oh, that's cool, man. I uh, We actually... Uh, We've known each other forever. Okay. Uh, ain't seen each other in years. I was in the music store and he popped in there. He goes, yeah. he goes, I'm looking for a bass player. I said, man, I ain't played in eight years. He goes, here's my CD, check it out. Next day he calls me. You ready to practice? <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, so right hey, 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 What was he doing all last I'm night? Feeling that. I'm feeling that. He brought me right out and man, I've been I lost it, man. That's uh music is a release. You know what I mean? And go eight years without it. You know, you want to strangle everybody you see. Yeah. So he kind of brought a little piece back. He brought a little piece back into my life. You know, let me uh, get out there and bang them strings up. There you go. There you go. What's your style? Who are some of your influences? Everybody. Anything funky? Okay. Anybody good? There's only two kinds of music, man. There's good and bad. That's it. <laughs> you either like it or you don't. So and you got to draw an influence off anything you like. So. Okay. Alright, so all, all genres? Yeah, I run around. Jazz, I'm a little, man, when they get into that okay. crazy jazz, yeah. where uh, there's no groove, you can't kind of... <laughs> yeah, yeah oh, that's, I ain't got nothing for that. You gotta get that groove. I gotta yeah. feel it, man. There's some jazz out there that's pretty tasty. Right. <laughs> yeah, the, li the lighter jazz. Kenny G. Kenny G. Yeah, right. Not that felonious monk, man, I just can't grab him. There's a lot, yeah, yeah. Lot going on there. Small brain, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> now, now, playing live or recording, Mm. Which do you like to do more? Live. I'm a live player. That's what I want to do. I, I, I'll play 500 shows a year okay. if, if, if it's possible. Right. You know what right. I mean? I'm a, I love playing live. We are a live band. You know what I mean? Okay. Now, you said that, that you deal with a lot of demons growing up in Chicago because Chicago is a hard place. If you can make it here, you can make it anywhere. That inspired your writing. Like, how, how long does it take to write a song per se, would you say? You know what, man? It's sometimes it takes five minutes, and sometimes it takes five days. You know what I mean? It just depends on how strong you feel about what you're thinking, you know? Right. If you're thinking, if it's something that really affected you, you can write a song about it in five minutes. True. I got you know a song I mean? going on 19 years I haven't finished. Oh, wow. It's going to be a hell of a song when it's done. <laughs> and that, could, that could be that small brain thing. You know? Yeah, right. <laughs> masterpiece. <laughs> right. Yeah, right. Or masterpiece. That's it. The perfect song. That's it.
That's it. That's it. But yeah, you talked about. I, I'm glad you brought that back up, uh, Rusty. Growing up, so one of the one of the things you said uh, is rock out for the children. Like, um, you know, you said you grew up rough. So is that important to to, to reach the youth, or you know what I'm saying? Uh, you know everybody. what, man? It's a, I'm all about the kids, man. You know, because. They, uh, they have a chance still. You know what right, I'm right, saying? Right. You can change them when they're young, man, you know, and get them out there. And so do you feel like, do you reach them with your music? How, how have, have you had any, uh, like, inter interactions with, with the kids? Is that, you know, well, a market that you like? Hey, man, not not so cool often, or, I mean, okay. you know what I mean? But right. it's a, we're more of a rock and roll with band. The edge, and, yeah. yeah, a little edgy for the kids, yeah, but yeah. <laughs> we'll, we'll raise the money and give it to them. There you, you go. Know? There you go. <laughs> yeah, nah, that's definitely fun. That's yeah, that's cool, fun. man. So one of, what are one of your favorite songs that you've done? Hmm. It's probably a song that I wrote for my ex-bass player, actually, that okay. has the PTSD. It's called Dancing Empty. Because yeah. I always told him, empty that that all that bad stuff out of your head let's go out dancing and so i named the song dance and empty and everybody at the time was telling me leave him alone he's just a you know he isn't right. gonna do nothing leave him be let him ride blah 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 and i always promised him if you leave i promise i'll leave with you you know what i mean and the song's all about building your own cell motoring in the bricks yourself yeah the door is locked, but it really isn't. You know what I mean? Decorating the walls just to keep from knowing you're sick. You know what I mean? It's a, like all about that. That's not interesting. And that song's actually kind of deep. Yeah, right. it's, it's kind of heavy. Where can we find you and listen to, to Midnight Center's music? Right now, we're rebooting up everything. We're we're on Reverb Nation still as of right now. We got a Facebook page. Soon, we'll have a regular web page and okay. Instagram, all that stuff. Right. Once we get it all rolling. Working on that. With Bob Dub Records, you're going to put up the that's, budgets. That's, that's where we're working. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. Breaking that's right. News. Yeah. That's it, man. All right. Well, then we're going to make sure we stay tuned. As a matter of fact, I'm gonna drop the song we talked about earlier. I'm gonna play high. All right. Right here on Urban Grind Radio. You got it. All right, we'll talk to y'all. We'll be back in just a minute. We are the Midnight Sinners Band. You're listening to Urban Grind Radio.